You are listening to Bedtime Dreamy Tales. Please make sure you have subscribed to our channel for new story. Story title, The Raven. In a realm bordered by the endless sea to the west and the dark, whispering forest to the east, there stood a magnificent castle, home to a queen and her spirited daughter, Princess Ellery. Despite the castle's beauty, with its gardens where flowers danced in perpetual bloom, the queen's heart was shadowed by worry. Her daughter's wild, untamed nature brought chaos to the tranquil order of royal life. One fateful day, frustrated by her daughter's disobedience, the queen, watching a flock of ravens fly past her window, uttered a wish in a moment of despair. Oh, if only you were a raven, you could fly away, and I might find a moment's peace. The words had barely left her lips when Ellery transformed into a raven and flew into the heart of the forest, leaving the queen in a state of shock and regret. Years went by, and the kingdom mourned Princess Ellery as lost forever. However, destiny had woven a more complex tapestry. A young woodsman wandering through the forest heard a raven's cry unlike any other laden with sorrow and the weight of human grief. Drawn by the sound, he discovered Ellery cursed to live as a raven. She spoke of a spell that bound her and a way to break it. He must refuse the hospitality of an enigmatic old woman dwelling deep in the forest, for only by staying awake could he hope to free her. Ellery would visit him for three days at two o'clock in a carriage drawn by horses of different colors. Yet, should he succumb to sleep, all would be lost. Determined to save Ellery, the woodsman set off but fell prey to the old woman's cunning, drinking enchanted water that plunged him into a deep slumber causing him to miss Ellery's visits. She came as promised, first with white horses, then with chestnut, and lastly with black, each time finding him ensnared in dreams. With each visit, she left behind gifts imbued with magic, a loaf of bread, a chunk of meat, and a bottle of wine that would never deplete, alongside a golden ring engraved with her name and a letter pointing him towards Stromberg's golden palace. Realizing his failure upon waking, the woodsman, now bound by a deeper resolve, embarked on a journey to the palace, hoping still to break the curse. The path to redemption was fraught with peril. In a moment of despair, the woodsman encountered a giant who, moved by his tail, agreed to help in exchange for the enchanted food. The giant's siblings, keepers of maps charting all the known and hidden places of the world, eventually located the golden palace. With the giant's aid, the woodsman reached the vicinity of the palace perched atop a glass mountain, an insurmountable barrier separating him from Ellery. Undeterred, the woodsman witnessed a skirmish among bandits over enchanted objects, a stick that could unlock any barrier, a cloak granting invisibility, and a horse that defied the constraints of space and time. He broke a piece in exchange for these items, using them to navigate the obstacles that lay between him and his quest in. With the stick, he opened the palace doors. The cloak hid him from prying eyes and the horse carried him up the slippery slopes of the glass mountain. Inside the palace, he made his presence known to Ellera by dropping the golden ring into her goblet. Recognizing the symbol of their shared trials and love, Ellera knew her savior had come. Together, they stepped out from under the shadow of the curse. Their joyous reunion celebrated with a wedding that heralded a new era of peace and happiness for the kingdom. Thus, the legend of the Raven Queen echoes a timeless truth, that even in our darkest moments, hope aided by love and valor, can illuminate the path to redemption and joy. If you like this story, please give this video a like and comment below with your thoughts. See you in the next story.